Welcome back my fantastic artistic friends. Are we ready to paint, rock and roll? Happy days. Right, we've got a big old canvas up here and we're gonna paint, if all goes well, a nice little mountain scene, flowing river and a few big, big trees. Okay, the canvas has been coated in liquid white, so we're ready to, to rock and roll. This liquid white, very, very thin coating on there. Very, very thin coating. And it allows us to blend colour up on the canvas rather than tone the sands to death, mixing colours and, and working with the palette. So, let me grab a paintbrush. Let me grab some phthalo blue. And let's start. Okay, so... Just up here, with a little bit of thalo blue, just making some slight little crisscrossy strokes, just like that. There we go. Now, let me just grab a bit more blue, just there, like so. Now, leave some white parts in the sky, it'll give a bit of a variation when, uh, when we come to blend. I'm gonna just grab a tiny bit of black, just a tiny bit of black, and we'll put some blacky blue, or bluey black, right up there. Okay, just like so. And we said we're gonna have a little bit of a stream, so I'm gonna grab a tiny bit of green, tiny bit of green, into the same color, and where's the stream gonna live? I think we're gonna have it round about here, and it's going to come out like that. We don't know roughly where it's going to be. It might meander that way, down like that. We don't know yet. We don't know. We might change his mind halfway through this painting. Who knows? Who knows? Oh, all I've got to go off is a little rough sketch that I did. Right, let me grab. Let me grab. Let me set that dirty brush down. And let me grab a clean brush. And I'm just going to come up here. Start with a light spot, so on the horizon line, working his way across, all the way up. Just bringing all this together. We don't have to work hard at this. And then gently across, just like so. Keep blending, it'll just go away and leave you. There. And then down here where there's water's gonna be, we'll just zigzag that across like so. There we go. Right, I'm gonna wash this brush. I wash the brushes in ogless thinner. I've got a can of ogless paint thinner just below the easel. I shake off the excess and in a little bucket, I've got a little screen that I beat the brush against. And then I draw the brush against the dry paper towel, like so. Right, we said we're gonna have some mountain, so let me grab a palette knife and let's mix up some mountain color. So you make mountains in a, in a couple of different stages. So we, we put the background color in, then we put the, you know, the, the highlight color, the shadow color, and then the missed the base. So I'm taking some black, some blue, I'm going to touch a brown in that as well, and maybe a touch of lit, a liz and crimson, just to warm it up a tad. Okay, give it a good old mix on the palette, pull it out really flat, and then scrape in a nice little, a nice little roll of paint right out on the edge of the knife. Right, so I'm gonna have a distant hill, mountain, whatever you wanna call it, just out there. Like so. And that's it. And that is about it. Scrape off all the excess paint. Now we're gonna grab uh, a brush, a dry brush, and then we're just gonna pull this paint out so and blend that into the mist so if you can see a mountain in its entirety you can always see the top but the bottom 
if you can see it, there's no trees there or anything, will always be misty. Diffuse, the light diffuse, diffuses it, should I say, right. Set that brush to one side. Right, let me wipe the knife on a clean dry paper towel. I'm gonna to take a touch of white paint, not much, I'm gonna put a little bit, a tiny bit of burnt sienna in that. Okay. Mix it on the palette, cut off a little roll of paint, and then just gently, very gently, hardly touch the canvas. We're just gonna, we're just going to put some little tiny highlights up here. Like so, there we go. Yeah. Just on one side. Now, I'm take that same colour and get a tiny bit of phthalo blue. That'll cool it down, make a nice, cool, shadowy colour. We'll have the light, as I like to do, I have the light coming from, from the right hand side because it's just easier that way for me. Okay, cut off a little roll of paint again, and then we'll come on to the opposite side of the mountain. So we'll start with the top. And again, I make a little sound, it just helps me a little bit. As an artist, I'm a little bit bonkers as well. But yeah. Lighten up a tiny bit, lighten it up a tiny bit so you can see it. Like, look at that. And allow the paint to break. As it breaks, it creates all the the nooks and crannies in a mountain, yeah, like so. Then we can wipe the knife off, paper towel. Now I'm going to go straight into just the tiniest, tiniest amount of white paint, titanium white, and we'll come up there and we'll put a little bit more snow because we've got a, a, a light brown mixture just underneath. Give, give the appearance appearance of snow that's thick in places and stones will show in others right we'll leave it at that right we'll blend out the bottom now I don't know how long this video is gonna be it might be it might be an hour it just depends on how much I'm gonna waffle on okay so dry brush really firm down at the base just like so, and then just gently lift up, take the tap marks out, take the tap marks out. Now don't worry about this part here, we can blend that to nothing, yeah, get rid of it. Okay, so that little mountain sat diffused up in the sky. Okay, let's give him a big brother, let's give him a big, big brother. So same dark mountain colour, and we'll have him, big peak, there. Okay, a big old mountain peak. And it comes right down there, pushes this mountain back. Yeah. Don't know where this one's gonna grow to. <laughs> There, 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 and there. So inside the mountain, this area, we couldn't care less what's going on. It's just that top fine edge that we need. Scrape off the excess, grab a dry brush. Okay, so let's let me wipe the knife off first. Grab a dry brush. We'll use this little one since we've got it to hand. And we'll just pull down like so. Same on this side, pull down, like so. And then just blend that into the liquid white. You can even add a couple of little bumps and humps there, like that. Okay. There we go. Blend that away. Be quicker with a big brush, but I'm in no rush. 
nice day. It's a good day to paint. It's a good day to paint. Right, let me wash this brush off before we go any further. So again, all to a thinner. Beat it against the rack and then dry it against the brush. Oh, some towel. Okay, let's put some highlights on this one then. Okay, so we're just going to go straight in to titanium white. Straight into titanium white, right up here. Okay, just like that. Gonna make those sounds, folks. Gonna make those sounds. Yes. Feather light touch. Feather light touch. Can't say that enough. You plow it on if you really put it on. It won't work for you. Okay. Right here. Down we go, down we go, down we go. A little bit on that. Okay. Big mountain coming to life. Again. Think about the angle of the, this hill, this mountain. Think about the angle. It's not just going straight down this one. Some, some do, some go straight down. Some, some have all sorts of little cracks and crevices. And they're usually, usually triangular shape. Not always, but, but sometimes they are. Sometimes they are. A bit more paint there. Okay, let's put a shadow colour on the other side. We can go backwards and forwards between the shadow colours, highlight colours, to the start off up here, and down we go. Down we go. Every highlight needs a shadow. Every highlight needs a shadow. So this one here, we'll put a little shadow in that. Come up there, sneak in, a little shadow there as well. Okay, more there. A bit more there. We start seeing things, you see, as we paint, we begin to compose. We begin to compose the painting. Vary the colours slightly so it's not just one flat, dead, plain colour. This looks like it could do with a little tiny bit of an highlight. But before we do, we'll just put a little bit of shadowy colour there. Maybe a bit there as well. Okay, wipe the knife off. White paint, so let's get the white paint rolled out nice and flat. Cut it off and we'll come back in here. And then we'll just add a little bit of white paint there. There we go. In fact, we can zigzag this a bit. There. Bring it down. Change the angle of this, this mountain if you wish. Yeah. Just like that. How did you think? How did you think the uh, what does they call it? The sunset one went. Did quite well. I, I enjoyed painting that one and you guys seem to enjoy it. Yeah. Can even fetch that down there like so. Yeah. We'll do that. I've never been skiing, folks. Never ever. But if I did, this would be the place to go. This would be the place to go. Like that. Right, we've got some hills, mountains, whatever we want to call them. Right, let's work on some middle ground now. Um, let's try, let's wipe the brush. Work knife, paper towel again. Wipe the wipe the uh, knife off on a paper towel. Let's grab a brush to diffuse the base of this. So just lightly tap, 
So this is dry brush, clean and dry. Make sure it is clean. Make sure it is dry. Okay, up we go. Because it's a bigger mountain, we use a bigger brush. <laughs> okay, just work the angles. Don't go across like that. We want to work the angles like so. Creates that misty, foggy area down at the base. And there we go. If you pick up a bit too much paint, just wipe it on the paper towel and carry on. That will drag this all the way across there, so just like that. And then just gently up, gently up, gently up. Yeah. And across. Wow, that's a big, big mountain. Right, let's uh, let's work on some footles. Let me grab, let me mix a little bit of paint. So we'll take blue, we'll take white, we'll take a bit of crimson, a bit of black, whatever we've got going. And we'll, there, just mix it. Loosely mix it, I wouldn't, I wouldn't spend a long time mixing it. Just loosely mix it, that'll give a, a nice variant of colours that you can work with. Right, grab a fan brush. This is a big fan brush, number eight. Number eight fan brush. Okay, and on these big canvases, you need big brushes. Okay, so let's let's start over here. Okay, so we're gonna put some some distant hills. Live just there, just like that, and we can we can vary the flavour slightly. So if we pick up a, a bit of that's a bit of black in that, that's okay, that's all right, that's fine. Touch of blue, just vary the colours slightly. Not much, not much. And fill this in here, just this part here. We don't have to go crazy with it. Just like that. And let's get set that brush to one side. Don't wash it. Don't wash it. Let's take a, let's take the brush that we that we blended the mountains out with, and we're just going to hit the base of this, just like we did with the mountain. Just the base, not the top. And then blend it out. And that will create, that will create a nice little misty area right down at the base of this hill. Just like that. Pull it out into the liquid white, and there we go. We're rocking and rolling, like we said, yeah? Of course we are. Okay, onto that, onto that paintbrush that we've made this color with. We'll make it a little bit darker, so we'll add a bit more blue, a bit more black. Maybe a bit of brown in this one. Vary the colours. So it's slightly different. So it's slightly different. And to push this hill back, let's start up here. And we'll come down there. Like so. Into where there's water. See, we didn't know we we're gonna have what this hill here. It's alright. It's okay. It's alright. Okay. Vary the colour slightly, and we can fill this in. These, these big, big, big brushes. I mean, what is it? It's about, I'd say about an inch and a half, two inch maybe, and across. Definitely pays dividends to work with big brushes on a big canvas. It really does. It really does. Vary the colours a little bit. Okay, down we go. We could have it as a winter scene, I suppose, this. We could have it as a winter scene. Okay, set that brush to one side. And let's just tap the base of this one, just like we did with the other, with the other hill. Now you want your canvas really set on a solid, solid easel. I'm coming up with something at the moment to, to, to help us paint a little bit better. 
um, trying to make a wall mounted easel so I can hang it against the wall and I can really give it some pasty with this you know if you're hitting it with a big old brush you're gonna from time to time knock your canvas over so you need a really strong easel or I'm gonna think of a wall mounted a wall mounted easel there there we go so now we've got Another little projection there, another little hill. Just like that. Yeah, there, right, we can make even another one. Right, so let's make another one. So let's just go purely into, same dirty brush. I've got phthalo blue, black, browns, a little bit of a crimson color. I'm gonna have a touch of green as well so every now and again you'll get a, a slight accent of green and we can come back up in here and we'll put another one just right across where we thought a stream would be this is this painting will probably look nothing like how i imagined it but that's all right that's all right as you paint you see things you learn to compose you learn to compose as you go, flip the brush over if you're running out of paint. That's why they make two sides of a brush, you see. That's why they make two sides of the brush. <laughs> Get down here, and then, like so. So so we're creating all sorts of little ones. In fact, we'll bring this one back a little bit further across. Like that. Just down here. And then we might have the river sneaking out this way stream or whatever it is whatever it is we don't care we don't care okay okay a little bit more there a little bit more a little bit more there we go there we go right set the brush down pick up your blending brush and just tap the base just tap the base just like that now this happens this this foggy area happens um, because of the liquid white that's on the canvas, if the canvas was dry, this wouldn't happen. Not as not as much, not 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 as great as what is happening now. So there we go. We we'll just diffuse that base there and can pull it out. And all these different planes, these levels, will give the indication of some some depth and distance to the painting. You want to be able, if it's possible, what, what you're painting, to be able to see for miles and miles and miles and miles. Because that's what people want to, want to stop and look at your painting and stare. Stare for miles and miles and miles. Okay, there we go. <laughs> We're gonna to have to stop here. We're about eating up all his canvases on on just on just footholds. Great then. Let's work on this foreground. Right. So uh, let me take another fan brush. Clean fan brush. This is a number six. Okay. And I'm gonna hit the palette with a lot of titanium white. This is not what I wanted to paint. I wanted to paint a nice little meadow here with some trees and some mountains in the background, but this is the way. This is the way painting goes, I'm afraid. Right, so we'll leave a stream as it is, but what we'll do with this white paint, now you won't be able to see most of this, but we'll just put in a little snowy peninsula just there. Okay, and just fill that in. A little snowy peninsula pull some down into the where the water is and we can grab some of this paint and we'll do the same on this side we'll just put some snow in here just pull like that and just let it let it fade into nothing let it fade into nothing we will have a tree we will have a big tree I think it's only right isn't it it's only right a little bit of a snow bank up here. And then we'll probably put something there. But let's work on this side for this for the time being. Let's work on this side. So just 
put some snow down here and blend that up. How are you liking these real time paintings then folks? This is what I used to do when I started the channel and I'd set the camera rolling. I only had enough memory for 25 minutes or so like that but, but now we're a little bit more tech savvy. Not much but a little bit more. I used to do larger paintings on a bigger scale, but speed them up. I thought, why not go for, why not go for some real-time painting? And you guys seem to enjoy it, but let me know. Let me know in the comments your views, folks. Right, uh, let's work on some trees. I think we'll put a nice kind of Scots piney sort of tree in this. I do like, I do like those kind of trees. So let's take. Let's take a small fan brush, the number one, it's a really tiny fan brush, and uh, let's take some blue, some black, I don't want green in this now, I've decided, if we put green in there, there's, a, there's only one thing worse than yellow snow, and that's green snow, so we'll just keep it to the blue tones, I think, on this, on this painting, okay, little tiny fan brush, of course brown snow's no fun either, but you know what I'm saying, folks. Right, so fully loaded. In fact, I've got a bit too much on the of the brush there. Which is my bad. Oh, no. Don't want no, no paint all over my fingers. Okay, and then we'll just touch the canvas, just like that. Just touch the canvas, and then we can just start tapping in what would be some little evergreens just down here. I think a big Scots pine here. I think it's called Scots pine. You'll have to let me know what kind of trees these are. I know these are going to be little, little Christmassy tree sort of things. Just here, you can see the variants of blacks and blues in this, so that'll that'll work out just fine. Keep your brush nice and loaded and full of paint. Yeah, even take that in there. So we've got a nice little school thing. I don't know, herd of trees. I don't, I can't remember. So a grove that was it, I think. I think one of, somebody once commented that it, it's actually a grove of tree. I can't remember who it was. It might have been Jude or it might have been Judith or a J anyway, I think it was. I don't know. What am I wittering on about? A grove of trees, that's what we'll go for. A grove of trees. So we'll take all these all the way along. We might as well take it all the way across. All the way across. Vary the heights. Bit more colour. And push down when you when you're doing these trees, push them down like downwards. And that'll create all these little tree fur effects that we want. That we want. Okay, these probably come right to the water's edge. Put more paint there. Like that. Right now. We'll grab a tiny touch of painting and we'll thin this same colour down just a tiny bit, not much at all. And then every now and again, like on this one, we'll put some some arms on, on them. The paint's got to be quite thin because, because we've got a few layers paint on it here, maybe one up here, like that, there we go, there we go, maybe a little tiny one here, right, let's go back, let's swill this brush off, what I've got in the bottom of the paint wash is a, uh, is it like a, um, a screen? It's made out of stainless steel. Basically looks like a sieve. And I scrub the bristles against that and that agitates the, the excess paint. Okay, let's grab the fan brush that has the white paint on. A bit more white paint. We can come up here and we're gonna grab some of this darker color, this color here. We're gonna grab that intentionally grab it 
And what that will do, load the pen back into the brush, what that will do is create shadows in the snow. Remember, there's lights coming from this side, so we're going to have some shadows in the snow at this side. And if we get a bit too much blue, we can add a bit more white. Just down there, like that. There we go. And then you can grab a dry fan brush. I've got to put that down. Let's. Oh, I've several fan brushes going. I've several brushes going. In fact, I have a hashtag big cup full of brushes. Okay. And then we're just going to gently tickle this big cup. What happens on Discord stays there. <laughs> All right. Okay, so there we go. There we go. So, so we just smooth that out, take the brush strokes out, and think about the angles of the land as well. Okay, so we've got like a little bit of a frozen pond or stream, whatever it is in this in this area here. Okay, let, let's work on the other side now. So let's see what do we need. Tell you what we tell you what we do need. I've been looking at this for about half an hour now and it's been slightly annoying me. This little ridge here hasn't got any uh, shadow. So we'll just put in a little shadow there, blend it out. Just like that. Now that that yeah, that's sort of that. That's just my preference. That's just my yeah, preference. Right, let's grab the big old fan brush with the blues on with the blues. Let's darken this blue some more and we'll put a little bit of shrubbery or whatever just here. Don't want to go too crazy. Okay, because we'll put we'll put a tree on this and we want it sat in the snow. Okay, just about there like so. Just like that. Maybe a touch more different colour. Yeah. Bit, bit of darker blue, bit of black. Right, set this brush down to one side, and what we'll do, we'll pick up the brush with the white colours on. And then again, we'll intentionally grab some of this to create shadow Whoa. in the snow, but we'll go in this way now. So, can go this way. Just a bit of shadow. Let's, let's get a little bit of thinner paint. Just let's thin this paint down. We've got a lot of paint up, up here now, so. And there we go, down like that. Nice blue tones to this painting. <laughs> it's so cold. You might have to put your coat on. And just blend that away. Let's get that clean, dry fan brush and we'll just blend that. If you're an expert at fan brushing. There. Like so. Right, let's put a tree or two on this. Now, if you don't want a tree in this painting, you don't have to put a tree in. If you want a tree or two or three, put two or three trees in it. Okay, but I think I think we'll have a couple of trees about here. I don't want massive trees. Uh, I think we said Scots Pines. Shall we go with that or shall we go with ferns? Mm, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. We'll just use this number four fan brush, what we've got. And we'll use the darker colours. Just, just quickly wipe off the excess paint off of this. And we'll use the blue and black and a touch of brown just to darken it and make it a bit more neutral. Right, what we'll do, we'll go, in fact, we'll pick up a bit of the burnt sienna as well. We'll go about here and we'll bring it all the way down there, just like that. Okay, and we'll create another one. We'll give him a, a friend just there, like so. And maybe a third, maybe a third. Change the flavour a little bit of the, this one. A little one. Mm, mm, mm. I don't know, I don't know. What should we do, folks? There. 
Yeah, a little baby one. Like that, like that, okay. Like that. Alright, so that's where those three trees are going to live. Let's just bring this one a bit further down. Yeah, got them all in one line. Okay. A bit more brown on this paintbrush. Oh. Yeah. So now we've got where those trees are gonna be. Now using a fan brush like this, it creates all sorts of little fur, little fuzzy edges of the tree trunk, and that's what we're after. That's what we're after. Right, a little bit of white paint, a little bit of brown paint, same dirty brush, nothing too strenuous here. A little bit of white paint. And then we'll just come down one side of it. Little tiny bit of an eye light. Maybe it might come back and brighten that up a bit. Yeah, so just all you're doing is tapping. All you're doing is tapping. Yeah, like so. A bit more here and there. Darker blues, shadow side, make that a bit darker. That's it, that's it, that's what I'm after. Right, let me swirl this fan brush up. So, if you've got a lot of paint on your, on your fan brushes, or any brush really, you can wipe them on the paper towel first, get the excess off, then swill in your can of paint thinner, odorless paint thinner. I don't know if I've mentioned that today, but I use odorless so it doesn't smell of the house. Okay, let's work on these trees. Okay, so dark blue, black, brown, whatever dark blue we've got going. And then we'll just come up here, and then we'll just use the fan brush and we're just gonna Hit the edge just like that. Just like that. Again, if your paint's not sticking, tiny, tiny touch, tiny touch, paint thinner. That should make it stick a little bit better. Okay, we've got this one. Don't leave these out. Pushing slightly up. When we're creating these. So somebody please please tell me what these kind of trees are called. I, th I think the Scots pines but I, I, I could be I could be a hundred miles away from the truth there. There we go. Maybe a bit more up there. Like so. We'll give this little one some as well. Comes right in front of that one. There we go. Give a little branches down here and there. A bit here. Maybe a touch there and so. Wherever these little leafy things should live, that's where they usually should live. That's where they usually should live. And just like that. Now, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get a script liner brush, touch of paint in it, into that dark colour, make that dark colour that we just used really thin, like water, and then we can come up here and we can have a few little tree, you know, branches or whatever they're called. Just one or two, one or two, wherever they should be. This one. Yeah. Up here. 
I'm sick. I'm gonna make those noises, folks. Right. Pan brush with the lighter color on, with the white. I'm gonna take a tiny bit of thin white paint, some, uh, some, what they call it, what is it? Liquid white. Tiny bit of blue in that as well. So this is nice and thin. And then every now and again, we'll just put a tiny bit of highlight. Just a tiny bit of highlight just on these. Let's make it a little bit lighter. There we go. There we go. So just a few little tiny accents. Just down here. Where the snow's landed on these branches. A bit more on here like this. That's it. It's there and like there. Nearly finished. We've got a finished composition. Right. Go there, there, there. Top there. Right, so what we'll do now, what we'll do now, make that cool a bit. Wipe the excess paint off. Wipe the excess paint off. Back into your white paint. And then we'll just grab the base of these trees. Just sort of like shadows in the snow. Shadows in the snow. And it's even fun. Grab a palette knife and chuck the brush down. Bit of white paint. You can even put thick layers of paint. And when this dries, it'll feel like thick snow. So just the same as we did the mountain. The same as we did the mountain. Got a bit of a snow bank. Yeah. Like that. Right, I think we're about ready for a signature. So let's take some script iron brush, really thin red paint. Make sure it is thin or it won't slide. What I'm going to do, I am going to just initially, just here. So if you did enjoy this one, my fantastic friends, if you did enjoy the commentary, the composition, please let me know. Please let me know. If you have a go at this one as well, send me a photograph. I'd love to see what people are, what people are doing. And until next time, my fantastic friends, do take care of the Sen, stay safe, and as always, have the Sen an happy day.